ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತೂ ಮಾತೃಪೇಣ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಮಾ ಭಗವತಿ ಪೂಜ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಚೂಸನ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಟುಡೇ the most auspicious moment we are celebrating that is the 115th birth anniversary of shri arbindu 1872 15th of august is the birthday of shri arbindu and this is 2022 we are approaching 15th of august now after supramental descent sri arbindu has indicated along with his dreams and various predictions that time will fast come the new age will emerge new life of human race will replace the dead past so that time has come and the spot on which we are celebrating this event is at present paving the new way the depicted in savitri as uncharted route that uncharted route is being paved and it is paved from this spot as trupti very clearly said that it is the architect of immortality architect of mortality that is there all over the world but architect of immortality is a prasad de novo offering to the technology technique new architecture and new engineering genetics engineering in our human body and mechanical engineering structural engineering external world both are to be properly clubbed and in such a way they are clubbed that it becomes the very strong foundation for society to live and individual also to live the life divine of tomorrow that is the architect of immortality now we are talking in pondicherry where this experiment was conducted by sri arbindo and the mother throughout the life we are not talking this phenomenon discussing this phenomenon somewhere else in the external world a couple of days back in america in church the seven day savitri saptah that is four how 153 seven episodes were recorded 
and seven episodes are to be extended here in Pondicherry. We are supposed to focus on Sri Aurobindo's concept and vision of mortality and immortality. How mortality can be converted into immortality. Tamaso Maya Jyotir Gamaya, that was the logo of our culture. Asatoma Sad Gamaya, that was also the renowned logo of our culture. And the third one that is yet to be realized is Mrutyurma Amrutam Gamaya. We have seen how truth can be converted into falsehood and falsehood can be converted into truth. We have seen wars, we have seen bloodsheds, we have seen massacres, we have seen two wa world wars and mother said that now there will be no third world war. Ukraine was ruined totally. A very small, scholastic country having no hostility and no rivalry with any other country of the world. Still, it was crushed like anything. So it is truth that is crushed by falsehood. The war between Ukraine and Russia is the war between truth and falsehood. And this is all in the new environment and ecology, new milieu created by supramental descent in Pondicherry. And we are talking today in Pondicherry how this new architect of immortality emerges, how Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya is to be realized, Asatoma Sadgamaya is to be realized, and Mrutyurma Amrutam Gamaya is to be realized not in compartments but in total, in continuity. It is the totality that is immortality. It is the divinity that is immortality. It is the infinity that is immortality. So we cannot have watertight compartment in between. So mortality is to be converted into immortality internally as individual and externally as cosmos. So the two phenomena are simultaneously going on. One that is microscopic phenomenon and second that is macroscopic phenomenon. And in the very second line of Savitri, Sri Aurobindo has written across the path of the divine event. We are moving towards the divine event. Tomorrow will be the new age. Tomorrow will be according to our scriptures, traditionally speaking, Satyu, and according to the vision of Sri Aurobindo of 1910, confirmed by Lord Krishna in 1926, and now we are the fortunate people to be the witnesses of this new emergence of a greater dawn. Savitri is a scripture of Satyu. Savitri is Srimad Bhagavat of uh, life divine and Satyu that is just arising on the horizon. So we people are fortunate enough and we are talking here, we are resolving here, we are determining here on this spot of Pondicherry and especially the spot that is being developed by Prabhupada Bhai coming from Bombay to Pondicherry. Just well-established industry was there, well-established business was there, well-established uh, financial settlement was there, giving up all the, uh, in hand. Prabhupada Bhai and Roma been shifted from Bombay to Pondicherry with two kids, Viral and Trupti, and Trupti said, architect of immortality and she herself is architect. She herself is architect. And the way this spot is being developed, you can smell it at least. We are not engineers, we are not technocrats, we are not architects or experts in this business or profession, 
but still as an ordinary layman as consumers as users at least understand that the new architect is being emerged here on this spot it's not a traditional architecture 2 bhk 3 bhk it is not the ordinary architecture it is something new in design also it is something new but in spirit also it is something new that will try within 3 days of this extension of 453 savitri sapta already completed in america in church holy ghost church of michigan that is the western world this is the eastern world and pondicherry is the peak of the eastern world pondicherry is the peak of the eastern culture pondicherry is the peak of the eastern civilization and eastern vedant culture to be clubbed with modern science of heisenberg sophonhauer einstein and stephen hawking so we are marching towards greater dawn from great dawn and lord krishna blessed sri arbindo in 1909 in alipur jail and lord krishna descended physically cellularly anatomically biologically materialistically on sri arbindo on 24th of november 1926 here in pondicherry in his room will be visiting for darshan day after tomorrow so it is not any nothing that we are talking it's a concrete reality that is taking place and mother said that fortunate are those who take plunge into the future we are fortunate people who are taking plunge into the future that future is emerging before us before our very eyes and those who are blind may not see the sunrise doesn't mean that sunrise is not a phenomenon sunrise is a divine event but those who are uh, whose eyes are open whose heart is open whose conviction is open whose intellect is transparent and open whose receptivity is unchallengeable then they can appreciate they can realize and they can participate to participate in divine ras lila that is what the new bhagavat new ras lila is taking place the new cosmic movement is taking place new milieu is being created and new ras lila is also taking place within our body at cellular level and that is what the yoga of divine mother yoga of sri arbindo is meant for descent of uh, supramental on the earth that is also here in pondicherry in 1956 on 29th of february and mother completed her sadhana also the yoga of savitri to conquer death not only tamasoma jyotirgamaya not only asatoma sadgamaya but mrutyurma amrutam gamaya shrunavantu amrutasya putraha you accept that we are the sons of god we must be god as he his human portion we must grow divine now time has come that we must grow our human portion into divine matter and mother dictated 6000 pages here in pondicherry in her room to satprem so they are all upanishads of the new age upanishads of the new coming age that is satyu as per our traditional scriptural prediction and as per sri arbindo's vision it is life divine that will take place so soon means one age is over and new age is just taking shape emergence on the horizon kaliyug is over satyug has already started and who did it lord krishna 
Krishna consciousness is the universal consciousness. I have proclaimed all over the world that if at all there is God, intellectually realizable God, scholastically accessible God, not on blind faith, not merely on bhakti, not merely on kirtan, not merely on traditional way of adoration, but in laboratory, the difference between humanity and divinity, the difference between human matter and divine matter, the difference between human atom and the divine atom, time has come that science also will stand witness to this de novo experiment and that is also Sri Aurobindo has written and proclaimed in Savitri, entire existence is a divine experiment. Sri Aurobindo has not written that it is entire existence is a divine experience. Sri Aurobindo has written the existence is a divine experiment and experiment is related to science. Experiment is related to laboratory. Experiment is related to hypothesis. Experiment is related to scientific research. Now time has come. God is to be scientifically proved. God is to be scientifically realized. God is to be scientifically experienced. Because our human cabinet is living for 90 years, 100 years. With what power? With what capacity? With what energy it is living on? A small mobile, a similar, like a very ordinary toy of plastic requires to be charged with electricity. Now this new electricity with, which is there in our, our cabinet, human cabinet is sold. It is the key mother has found out here in the laboratory. Mother's room is not merely room of sadhana. Mother's room is not merely room of devotion. Mother's room is not merely a holy place. Mother's room is a laboratory where microscopic and macroscopic changes are being hypothetically established. And we people are fortunate people that sitting in Pondicherry, this is our sadhana, this is our sadhana, this is our Tirthatan. This is our yogic exercise. Coming from all distance and different places, we assembled here in Pondicherry. And why on this particular spot where we can talk about architect of immortality? What type of architect we are supposed to invent? What type of biological architect? One has to be biological and anatomical medical architect. Architect is, is, doesn't mean that he is to work with the matter. Architect is to, supposed to work with living matter, with human matter, with human person, with genetic engineering. It is not the question of external engineering that is there for us to tackle. It is the internal engineering we are concerned at present and those who are concerned with this yog, those who are blessed by the mother and those who are blessed with her blessings every moment can enter into this new zone of reality. This is the new zone of reality. And this is the last portion in America, seven episodes we got recorded. Where I stopped was a milestone. From there we can go ahead in Pondicherry. With what concept? With what hypothesis? Newton accepted hypothesis, Galileo accepted hypothesis, Archimedes accepted hypothesis, Sopan Hopper and Stephen Hawking also regarding time accepted hypothesis. What type of hypothesis we are going to accept here in Pondicherry? The hypothesis is that how can we pass the exit of mortality and enter into the new zone of immortality.
daging mrutyur ma murutam gamaya how they can be big food that is the experiment here in this laboratory of mother's room conducted an entire pondicherry entire world people visiting pondicherry since the beginning of sri arbindo sadhna till today day after tomorrow also lots of people will arrive from all over the world here in pondicherry for what to find out the key to be blessed with the key that our all locks can be unlocked our all limitations can be overcome our all problems can be solved and the master riddle and the master problem is the problem of death and it is lord krishna who became sri arbindo in 1926 on 24th of november a historical event is not the question of mythological acceptance or mythological faith it is a historical event and evidence and sri arbindo admitted it mother admitted it mother endorsed it so who are we to challenge it who are we to reject it who are we to retard it we must accept our intellectual limitation limitation of our own knowledge and scholarship but accept this and in the place where it was conducted in the very place where that experiment was launched and in the very place where laboratory was set and still there is laboratory and we are going to have darshan of that laboratory up tomorrow this is the new laboratory up tomorrow we are not going there with uh, all our blind faith or mere faith if it is not blind mere faith that lord we are just coming to you to surrender ourselves to your feet not like that we are here to be new we are here to be renovated we are here to be transformed we are here to be materialized with new matter and that lies the key from march from mortality to immortality migration from mortality to immortality simply our rushis ancient rushis declared that mrutyur ma amrutam namaya tamasoma jyotir gamaya where lies the solution asatoma sad gamaya there also lies the solution and the fulfillment of solution is there in mrutyur ma amrutam gamaya mrutyu is asat death is false death is a shadow death is image death is a passage to immortality that is what sir bindu has written this is the science this is the new science of genetics and mother dictated down 6000 pages here in her room 10 by 15 in the very room that is in pondicherry and this is the spot where new way is to be chartered which way from mortality to immortality from new engineering new architect but a which type of architect great building multi story building has been erected it just survived for 50 years 60 years 70 years and one fine morning it collapsed one fine morning we also collapse we are healthy wealthy and wiser people of the world every day we think <clears throat> that we are healthy we are wealthy we have got lot of bank balance everything at our disposal <clears throat> but nothing is at our disposal shrimad bhagwat makes us free from the fear of death <clears throat> savitri the bhagwat of tomorrow shrimad bhagwat of sati shrimad bhagwat of new age of light divine can make us free from death it is not the apprehension of death that is to be rooted out it is the death itself is to be rooted rooted out and that is the conquest of death and if we being the sadhak of sri arbindo and the mother coming here to pondicherry 
just paying homage to Sri Arvindra and the mother and we cannot peep into this new zone of immortality, then this life will be totally a futile. We cannot claim to have a new scholarship. We can't claim to have a new vision. We can't claim that we are born in this new age where this new programming has been launched by Supreme Lord and the Supreme Goddess, Supreme Maheshwari. Mother said, time has come. Are you ready? It is an hour of God. Are you ready? We have to say day after tomorrow while visiting Sri Aurobindo's room, we have to assure, we have to promise. Lord is waiting for our promise. We are not simply climbing the stair and just uh, paying homage to Sri Aurobindo before his photograph. We have to promise that Lord, we are ready. We are <coughs> we are here today, mean for this. <coughs> We are not simply for darshan coming over here. Christian and Americans, they came from America, not simply for darshan, for giving promise. It is an invitation, divine call from the mother, and she expects our promise. Why? Because in Savitri, Sri Aurobindo has very categorically predicted that we are the participants of the divine comedy, not divine tragedy. Tragedy is related to death, comedy is related to immortality. Pleasure, bliss is related to immortality. Amrut. Amrut means highest happiness. Amrut means highest taste. Amrut means unaccessible stuff that can give new tonic, that can give new light, that can give new energy, that can give new protein as per the medical terminology to our body for its revival and survival. <coughs> so we are here <coughs> to experience the master key to this uh, already locked vault. This was the day when Satyavan must die. That must is to be removed. And that is the challenge before Sri Aurobindo and the mother. And that challenge faced successfully on this spot. And the spot on which we are talking is the spot from where this new consciousness will emerge. And that is new architect of immortality. Lord Krishna is Puna Pursottam Paramatma. So, what is the role of Kalki after Lord Krishna? If Lord Krishna is Puna Pursottam Paramatma, then what is the position? What is the quality? What is the difference? What is the difference height in Kalki? <coughs> Kalki is the last incarnation as per Srimad Bhagavat, as per our scripture. And Krishna promised Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinasaya Chadushkritan Dharma Samsthapan Arthaya Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. Kalyug is over, Sadyug starts. So in this new age also I will be there to take up my responsibility. And what type of responsibility I am to take up? Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinasaya Chatuskrita. Corona is a falsehood. The sponsor of Corona is a demon of the world, demon of the human race, and still living unchallengeably. Still living unchallengeably in the world. Entire world knew who is responsible for this Corona, who is responsible for this virus. Who is responsible for this monstrous act, but still is unbeaten. Time will come, we will have to pay price for it. We will have to pay terrible price for it in the times to come. It is not so easy that no battle will be there to be fought out. We will have to get ourselves well prepared. 
and mother says here in pondicherry that world is preparing for a greater change bigger change will you collaborate we are collaborating on the spot selected by the mother today and that is the promise we are supposed to give day after tomorrow to the mother and she are bindu here we have come for this very purpose is not our exercise is not satvik manoranjan is not entertainment that we are spiritualist we are sadhak we are yogis we are what we are not but this is the promise we must recognize and we must determine that day after tomorrow we are supposed to give this promise to the divine we can cheat anybody and everybody we can cheat ourselves also but we cannot cheat the divine we cannot cheat the divine and krishna consciousness is universal consciousness and being a universal consciousness first we pray to lord krishna who is going to be lord kalki who has been lord kalki along with radha lord krishna was purna purushottam parmatma radha was not radha barsana was not because radha did not go to dwarika radha was still in barsana he was left out in barsana krishna went to dwarika history says 100 years he ruled there in dwarika and after that dwarika was just drowned into the ocean with determination and will of lord krishna himself that is pralaya that is pralaya that is annihilation mother says the earth has undergone this type of pralaya six times before now seven time earth will not get dissolved this way just under the impact of this pralaya no pralaya will be there no world war will be there it will be transformation it will be internal transformation that is new genetics engineering it will be cosmic transformation that is supramentalization that is new architect this is new architect we have to be the bridge in between internal and external we are pindes are brahmande that was proclaimed in our scriptures but we have not experienced it up till now now time has come that we have to experience it and we have to be the bridge mother says and mother's definition also given by sri arbindo here she is a golden bridge and a wonderful fire she is a golden bridge and a wonderful fire so we will have to realize that mother is a golden bridge but a wonderful fire too not only bridge but is a fire too and relics of sri arbindo mother says that they are living fire they are living fire and the spot on which we are talking it is the spot in the center of pondicherry where this new consciousness will soon emerge looking to trupti and viral looking to the biography of uh, prabodh bhai and roma ben you can have the traces of this new march well established uh, industry and everything they shifted to pondicherry for what purpose to collaborate in the work of the divine to collaborate to be the participants of this divine coming business will run earning will be there professionally they will be successful but what spiritually they will be tomorrow spiritually they will be the gop and gopis of shrimad bhagwat govardhan leela now that matter is being raised to divine matter materialized matter inert matter of soil prostrate soil she has been who has written in savitri that matter has to be lifted up by lord krishna himself and kalki being a refined and extended supramentalized lord krishna will lift entire earth soil to the divine matter and that is why there won't be any hesitation 
there won't be pralaya, it will be transformation. It was the little plot of mortality, it was the little plot of matter that was raised by Lord Krishna in Srimad Bhagavad as Govardhan Dila. Now the entire existence of earth will be raised up by Lord Krishna in the form of Kanki, that is Lord Krishna in his supramentalized form and Radha in a perfect supramentalized form. The joint Krishna and Radha, Radha and Krishna atwin in bliss as one is Lord Kanki. And that has started undertaking the responsibility of the survival and immortalization of the entire humanity. So, first of all, I have just put link between seven episodes already delivered in America and this is the eighth one in Pondicherry. So, this will be the golden bridge between East and West. This will be the golden bridge between East and West. And this is for the first time that we are pondering over the master issue being raised by Sri Arjuna and the mother here in this part of Pondicherry. The place of Pondicherry is not merely a piece of earth of India. When India is celebrating Independence Day, 175 Independence Day, celebration in India and 150th birthday of Sri Aurobindo. Both came on the very same day is also not an accident. It is also divine event. It is the time for us to work something, something for unity, for fraternity, for being golden bridge between East and the West. It was in church and here also this is the new church of tomorrow. This is the new church of tomorrow. Where Lord Krishna and Lord Christ, they are united because they are one. Divine is divine. It is one and the same. Krishna consciousness is universal consciousness. And Yoganandji Maharaj of Yoganan mission very clearly depicted and elaborated that Christ consciousness is Krishna consciousness and Krishna consciousness is Christ consciousness. There is no distinction in between. Christ is Lord Krishna of the Western world and Krishna is Lord Jesus Christ of the Eastern world. Krishna is the God. Krishna is the Supreme Divine. Krishna is the Master God. Krishna is the Supreme Reality and that Krishna has become Kalki along with Mahasakti. So Mahasakti and Parampurus united as one is Ardha Nari Nateswar, is Sim Shakti, is Radha Krishna and is Lord Kalki. Is Lord Kalki. And now world is being, the world is preparing for a bigger change. World has to surrender to Kalki or to get perished soon. Pralai will not be there, but individual annihilation will be there. We'll have to determine, we'll have to be pious, we'll have to be stable, we'll have to be firm in our mind, we'll make our mind free from all prejudices, pride, ego, inertia, tamas, Tam, Krodh, Mad, Matsar, Moh, Maya, Mamta, all these device, all these uh, vices are to be rooted out from our mind. Can we not do it only? Can we not make our mind healthy, wealthy and wise? Our pockets are not to be made healthy and wealthy. Our mind is to be made because the yoga of Sri Aurobindo starts with the mind. The starting point of this yoga is mind and Lord Krishna has taken up the entire consciousness of the world. So first of all, we pray to Lord Krishna as working at present in the form of Kalki, traditionally. And we can establish the link here in Pondicherry between Srimad Bhagavat and new Srimad Bhagavat of Satyuk, that is Savitri. 
bit late, but prayer is prayer. There is no late in praying to the Lord. If we pray a bit late, then also we are pardoned. If we pray in the early morning, in Brahm mover, then also it is accepted. Karar vinne napadar vindam Mukhar vinne vinniveshayantam Vatasya patrasya pūteśayanam Balam mukundam manasasmarami Shri Krishna Govinda Hare Murari Tenath Narayan Vasudeva Jihave Pibaswa Mruta Meta Deva Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti विक्त्रे तु कामा खिल गोप कन्या मुरारी पादार पित चीत ब्रुद्धि दद्यादिकम् मोह वशाद भोचद गोविंद दामो दरमाद वेति Gruhe Gruhe Gopavadu Kadamba Sarve Militva Samavapya Yogam Punyani Nama Nipatanti Nityam Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Sukham sayanam nilaye ni jepi Namani vishnu pravadanti martya Te nishtitam tan mayatam prajanti Govinda damo dharmadhaveti Sukha vashane itame vasaram Dukha vasane itame vagneyam Deha vashane itame vajapyam Govinda damo dharmadhaveti Jihave sadaivam vaja sundarani Namani krasna shyamano harani Samastha bhakta arti vinashanani Govinda damo dharma dhaveti Si Krishna Radha Vargo Pulesa Gopala Govardhana Natha Vishnu Jihave Pibaswa Mruta Meta Deva Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Jiyave Rashagne Madhura Priyatvam Satyam Hitam Tvam Paramam Vadami Avarna Etha Madhura Aksharani Govinda Dhamo Dharma Dhaveti Tvāme vayāche mamadehi jihve Samāgate dhanda dhare krutānte Vakta vyame kam madhuram subhaktya Govinda dhamo dharma dhaveti and the supramentalized Lord Krishna was promised, given by Lord Krishna to Sri Aurobindo on 24th of November 
2026 will be arriving and 24th November also will be arriving very soon. Before that, people of the world, East and West, entire world will have to witness the master act of Lord Kalki in the world. We should be prepared for it. New emergence, that will be the greater dawn. Every day sun rises and we open our eyes, but every day sun rises, we did not open our inner eyes. Now time has come that we should open up our inner eyes. Third eye is to be opened and we'll have to see the Divine Mother working with us, holding our hand with our own eyes. Supramental body of Mother and Sri Aurobindo, a supramental body of Sri Aurobindo was many a time seen by Mother here in this room itself. Room is there, wherein Mother has seen Sri Aurobindo's supramental body. This is new matter, this is divine matter. This is human matter, we must grow divine. Sri Albindo has done it for us and Mother also has done it for us and 6,000 pages of agenda is our agenda too. We have to accept and explore our agenda of this life too. Then our purpose of coming to this life, to human life will be served, otherwise that purpose will be marred. This is our accountability. We are meant for it now and two days before we are thinking of it. 24 hours, 48 hours are there at our disposal to get determined what to do and what not to do. Whether to take turning point, whether to take U-turn or whether to commit to our traditions, commit to our idiocy. Commit, commit to our stupidity, commit to our lack of transparent sense. That is aspiration. Swami Vivekananda declared openly on 1893 on 11th September, Uttishtaha Jagrataha Prapya Varan Nibodhan, Awake, arise and stop not till the goal is reached. Time has already passed. We of North America need an awake and penalty is being paid by the world. Now time has come. It is an hour of God. Are you ready? We should be ready and we should promise Lord day after tomorrow that we are ready and that is why we have come to you. It's not only a purpose of darshan is there. It is the purpose of ad getting ourselves admitted in her arena, getting ourselves admitted in her orbit, getting ourselves admitted in her battalion. We are the soldiers. We are the divine soldiers. And as we are the divine soldiers, we have every right to witness that greater dawn of tomorrow. We are fortunate to that extent. And that is why we are having these discourses here in Pondicherry on this most auspicious spot. And we are openly admitting that this is the time and we are prepared to participate in Mother's Divine Comedy and Sri Aurobindo's Divine Comedy that is the supramentalized form of Lord Krishna, universal form of Lord Krishna. And we people have to obey the That is the last line of Savitri. Book 10th, Book 11th and Book 12th were not completely revised by Sri Aurobindo in 1948 in this room itself. These three books were not revised. Most of the portion Sri Aurobindo revised, but the 
last portions, especially of AP lobe, was left out, and many of the line, many of the most of the lines of book tenth and book eleventh uh, were also left out by Sir Bindu. Nirudha asked that why did we not revise Savitri completely? You says that you have no time. You say that you have no time. So why this portion has been left out? She had been to categorically said in 1948, prior to completing Savitri's revision, that uh, we shall see it later on. That later on never, later on never came. We shall see later on. Why? Because Sri Aurobindo had not gone through this passage of immortality, passage of death. When Sri Aurobindo had passed through this willful death, and at that time Sri Aurobindo transmitted mind of light to the mother here in his room, and mother received this mind of light. So we will have to open up the inner chamber of our microscopic existence to find out the true and genuine mind of light that is our physical mind hidden in our cell of the body because it is originality. There lies the key. There lies the key. And that mind has got to be awakened with the help of our functioning mind. Our mind is functioning mind. So Sri Aurobindo used this terminology of physical mind in two different uh, perspectives. One perspective is the physical mind of our functioning mind with which we are constantly harassed. We cannot control our mind and we are being constantly harassed by our mind. Chancharamhi Manas Krishna, before 5000 years back, Arjun also raised this question and still we are raising the same question every day. Going to mosque, going to temple, going to the Lord and going to any temple on the top of the mountain, we pray to the Lord, my mind is still unstable. My mind is still mobile. My mind is still hyperactive. This is our constant constant complaint because mind remains to be mind as it was before 5000 years when Arjun placed his complaint before Lord Krishna and same Lord Krishna has come down on the earth as Kalki and we are supposed to offer our same prayer to the Lord and that is what in this Damodar Shtavan we offered our prayer to that universalized form of Lord Krishna that is, day after tomorrow will manifest as supramentalized Lord Krishna on the earth and we will be able, provided we start our commitment and we start fulfillment of our self-commitment, they will definitely come that we will see supramental body of Lord Krishna in the form of Sri Aurobindo, in the form of Sri Aurobindo and the mother, that is Kalki. Radha and Krishna attuned in bliss as one, Sri Aurobindo has written. Then Sri Aurobindo did not write Siva and Shakti attuned in bliss as one. Sri Aurobindo has written Radha and Krishna attuned in bliss as one. Now there are certain clues given by Lord Krishna and Swami Vivekananda both in the early jail to Sri Aurobindo and they are the clues to be applied to this last portion which was not revised by Sri Aurobindo and that will be the essence of our these three days discourses. So in book 10th, book 11th and book 12th where the master clue of the seventh book of the seventh canto that was left out as nameless, that is neti neti. All ancient rishis reached the height 
the peak of our spirituality and they called it naiti 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 still on still on still on but no definition no blueprint no charting no design whatsoever is offered to the world even by our ancient rishis and that has been new way prepared and created paved by sri arbindo and the mother here in this pondicherry and that is why we are just talking about it in order to understand the golden bridge between east and west between church in west and between this new church here in pondicherry this is the spot a new govardhan will take place this new govardhan will be lifted up new govardhan will be lifted up to the level of immortality that is mrutyo ma amrutam dabaya is not hallucination nor it is illusion is not our wishful thinking it is the concrete reality which will be translated into concrete relativity the relativity after einstein will be the relativity instead of e is equal to mc square it will be e equal to infinity and infinity is immortality this new science will emerge that is what sri arbindo has predicted here in savitri watching the words that twin regard have made krishna in the form of kalki might be watching at present krishna has not left out this earth unshaped but krishna is looking at it looking at our world because this world is to be revived this world is to survive this world is to be transformed there is no annihilation or pralaya as such so where watching the worlds that twin regard had made and krishna and radha forever at twin in bliss the adorer and the adored self lost and one in the last chamber on a golden seat in a last chamber of, on a golden seat so this is the last chamber here in pondicherry this is the last chamber where lord himself and bhagavati herself undergone this tremendous sadhana and were united as one radha and krishna as one radha in her supramentalized body and krishna also in his supramentalized body his pura purushottam parmatma became purushottam it is not purushottam lord krishna but it is purushottam too and radha also has prakriti purushottam yog maya and she is bhagavati she is the divine mother and she had conquered earth here in pondicherry through cellular transformation and this is the mind of light that is inculcated at cellular level by the mother that is the yoga of savitri then radha became purna purushottam prakriti purna purushottam prakriti that is radha supramentalized mother started her sadhana in 1914 here in pondicherry offering her prayer as radha's prayer to sri arbindo and accomplished her prayer as radha and krishna at wind in bliss as one that is greater no that link has to be so completed that link has to be so established logically psychologically but we have to make our mind absolutely free from all prejudices all projections all sorts of orthodoxy and all sorts of self imposed urges in our mind we should make our mind transparently clean and clear in order to get this new entry of new ideas into our orthodox screen of mind that it has to be made absolutely clear and with without any turbid wave so this is the new prakriti mother here evolved in her body and that is the yoga of savitri accomplished in the forest vanma mrutyu 
death in the forest. What is this world? World is Kurukshetra. Yet it has to be Dharmakshetra. Lord Krishna proclaimed in the very first smoke of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Dharmakshetra, Kurukshetra, Samaveta, Yutsava, Mamaka, Pandavas, Chaiva, Kipa, Purvata, Sanjaya. We are still victims of Kurukshetra. We have not been the master of Dharmakshetra. Now, new Gita is to be launched by Lord Krishna as Lord Kalki. As Lord Kalki. And that is the way to immortality. That is the way to immortality. So, Savitri accomplished this new way. I have transformed my ill-shaped brittle clay. I have transformed my brittle clay. That is what mother says here. It is my clay. This is my little Govardhan. I have transformed. I have transformed my each and every cells of the body. I have transformed my ill shape. Ill shape. Not perverted. Ill shape. Because the shape in which they are offered to us, his human portion given to us by birth is not surveyed, is not screened, is not understood, is not analyzed and is not explored by us throughout our life. Now time has come that we should get our pinned, we should get our frame explored at cellular level. And that is the mind of light transmitted to mother has completed this programming in the frame of human body of the mother in this very room. We have seen that room. Room is before us. A little plot of mortality is before us. This new science that has emerged here on this very soil of Pondicherry is before us. And what conviction we require any longer now? What conviction we want to satisfy our meddling intellect? Our intellect is always meddling. And we are trying to satisfy our meddling intellect is a wrong programming that has to be stopped. And we must have prayer. We must have ardent spirit of surrender. And if we surrender to the Divine Mother, then tomorrow we'll analyze our prayer. What should be our prayer? Please give me this. Please give me this. Please give me this. Will not be our prayer. Transform our sales. We are here to get our sales transformed. And that will be our prayer. So we will see it tomorrow. But this is the master key and master clue. Supreme has given to us in mind of sales. That mind of light is hidden in mind of in as mind of sales in our cellular existence and that has to be found out. Then we can get our matter, materialized matter, human matter into divine matter. So I think today this is enough. Let us meditate for two minutes and conclude this session. Satya Mai Parmeshwara